Hi, my love, beautiful soul of Mystic Rose 1111, back with you, bringing dark into light. Okay, so I'm hearing you guys. Again, channel message, you know I'm walking, so I don't have my cards or anything like that. So this is just a channeling. So I'm hearing an inheritance is coming in, okay, for someone. There's an inheritance coming in. You may not have known this. You may not know that somebody left some kind of money, some kind of will for you, okay? If it's not an inheritance, wow, that's crazy. The police went by. That's crazy. Maybe the police is just delivering the message to you. Okay. Wow. Someone else could be getting a letter. Okay. Um, that's just weird. I'm walking and see that. But yeah, you, there's someone that's getting an inheritance. Okay. You're going to be finding this out. You did not know that somebody left you some kind of money or some kind of inheritance. And so this could be coming in the mail. Someone could be delivering it to you. This is going to help you with whatever you're working on right now, whatever you're doing, this is gonna actually help you with some kind of um, business, hobby, whatever it is, or getting out of the debt. I'm hearing from about getting out of debt. This is gonna help you. This is gonna help you get um, back on path, on your right path, in the right direction. Uh, you could have been struggling for a while. You guys, and this isn't for everybody, okay? This is not for everybody. I know people click on videos and they're seeing this inheritance. This is not for everybody. It's a collector reading. It could be for two people. It could be for 100 people. It could be for 1,000. But it's not, not everyone's going to resonate with this, okay? But um, this is going to help you get out of the gutters, okay? I'm hearing this inheritance. If it's not an inheritance, it could be just some kind of nice big blessing, a donation, some kind of assistance that is going to help you get out of the gutter, get out of, the, get out of being in like... The struggle because you I'm hearing something about you've been struggling for the last several years it could have been five plus years it could be three plus years or even just the last two years but you've been you've been struggling and you've been struggling and you've been busting your ass been working your ass off you've been doing your healing you're growing all that stuff your shadow work you you've been really really working on yourself and so this is going to be some kind of reward blessing from the most high from the universe, from God's source creator, is allowing this for you to receive this inheritance, this blessing. So continue doing what you're doing. You, you never gave up, okay? That's what I'm hearing too. Even through the hardest times, through the struggles, you never gave up. Yes, you doubted yourself. Yes, you were about to give up, but you didn't. You did not. You kept pushing through, pushing through, pushing through. Even when people kept getting, I'm still hearing something about keep getting at you, you know, kept trying to, knock you down, kept trying to get in your business, telling you you're not going to get somewhere, you're going to stay in the same spot, and you're like, no, positive mind, that's what I'm hearing, positive mind, optimistic, okay, looking at the good things in life as well, uh, even if it, it was it difficult for you, hard for you, you never gave up, you never lost your faith either, that's that's why you're going to get this, uh, I, this could be I, just, I was hearing some kind of money, some kind of assistance, some kind of help, okay? It, it could have been like a loan you don't have to pay back with no interest or something like that too, okay? Because I'm hearing like, you know, you may try to take it out a loan and this person's willing to just give you this money. Like, invest, okay? Some, I heard, okay, invest. Not a loan. Somebody's, somebody's ready to invest in whatever you're working on because they know that it's going to be successful. They know it's going to continue to go because you didn't give up. Even when you thought it was going to uh, sink, like I'm hearing some about... People kept telling you your, your business, whatever you're doing, was going to sink. It was going to fall apart. It was going to crumble. And you didn't. you didn't. You didn't lose faith. And that's why. So if you were talking about getting a loan, somebody may in, instead invest in your business or invest in something that you want to create, you want to build. Because they, they think it's a really, really good idea. Somebody has a really, really super good idea. Um, you've been, you know, planning this out for a while. You've been working on this. You know, I'm hearing... Um, business plan or I'm, uh, I'm hearing like rough drafts you may have had several different rough drafts uh and just been working on this project this this yeah this project that you want to have success and that's why this person wants to invest or you're just going to get some like i said some kind of inheritance can come in and just um help you with this with this assistance with this you didn't know that this person left this for you or is willing to help you with this You've talked to, I'm hearing something about you may have mentioned something to someone and someone mentioned it to somebody else. So it's like, you know, word of mouth. And that's the thing too, is whatever you're doing, it's getting out there and there's going to be haters. There's going to be people that don't want you to succeed, don't want you to do this. But the word of mouth, there's other people out there that love what you're doing, love what you're doing and all the optimism that you have, the positivity that you have. If you want to see blessings, 
you gotta be positive. You gotta believe. You know, think about all the celebrities out there. If if they didn't believe in themselves, they wouldn't be where they are. Those celebrities, those rappers, singers, actresses, actors, they believe in themselves. They have confidence in themselves. Yes, they become cocky later on. Some of them become cocky. Some of them become arrogant and, you know, think that they know it all. But why they got where they got, how they got where they got was because they believed in themselves. They had confidence in themselves. They knew they were worthy. They knew they had something to give to the world, even if it's just music. So maybe at one time you didn't have a lot of confidence in yourself. You didn't believe in yourself and now you do. Continue doing that work. Continue healing your mind, body, and soul. Continue helping others as well. You're a very, very busy person too, okay? And getting like, you do a lot, okay? You do a lot for others, you do a lot for yourself. Sometimes take a little break. I don't know, that's kind of like, I'm part of the collective too and I'm kind of getting like, this is like the energy of like me working a lot and I'm like always working, doing something. But the work I do, I love. And that's why I'm hearing you absolutely love what you're doing. You want to create something that's actually going to be useful and help others. Whatever ideas, inspiration that you have, it's going to go somewhere. It's going to like spike, like something's like going to spike up. I heard something about a lip gloss business. Okay, I'm hearing something about like a lip gloss business or a beauty product business with like lipstick, makeup, beauty product business. It's gonna light up, it's gonna, it's gonna spike. If you're an influencer on YouTube and you have like, you post your stuff on there, how you create things, like your lip gloss business or whatever business you're, you're creating, it's gonna, it's gonna spike up, okay? It's gonna increase. Somebody has a YouTube channel that does their creative ideas, their hobbies, or has thought about it. Okay, the things that you're doing at home and you're creating for yourself. Spirit's saying take videos of it. Record it. You may be afraid, but do it. Because it's going to go somewhere. You guys, it's like when Spirit told me to get on YouTube to do my tear readings, my channelings. And I was so scared. Like, oh, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. And it sure did. It went somewhere. Everyone told me I wasn't going to be anybody. And look at, I'm at almost 17,000 subscribers. It took some time, but Spirit told me that it's gonna grow slowly. Spirit didn't want me to go viral. Spirit didn't want me to just blow up in one day because then it's just gonna um, tank in one day. So whatever you're doing, it's gonna slowly grow. And it's gonna be like a longevity where it's gonna be long-term. Instead of you know, some of those people that go viral on YouTube or TikTok, they go viral and then you don't ever see them again. They get one big viral video and then it's gone. Like. It's out, you know, but you, you're something that is growing slowly, but you're getting there. And it's going to be longevity where it's going to be long-term. It's not going to be short-term. You're not going to be like a one night, one, one, one hit wonder and then be gone. So do what you're doing. And that inheritance, that inheritance is just, it, it could be spiritual inheritance as all this, these aha, aha moments, inspiration, all these ideas coming forward. That's what's going to give you this, this uh, legacy, the legacy where you're going to be able to pass down to your children's children. If they want to take over the business, something about business, then they can take over it. There is somebody trying to block you. Always know that when you're being successful, there's some kind of dark forces out there trying to block you. Okay, there is always some kind of dark forces out there that will try to block you from your success, from your happiness, from your joy, from your peace. So know that there is going to be some kind of troll, some kind of, you know, Debbie Downer, some hater that's going to try to stop that, block that, or tell you you're not good enough, that you're not going to go nowhere. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to those naysayers. Because ultimately, you know, and you have other people that are telling you that they like your stuff, they like what you're doing. Listen to the people that like your stuff and what you're doing. They like what you're doing. Don't listen to the other ones that are saying, no, it's not good. They, the reason they're saying that is because they're jealous. It's because they don't want you to be successful. They, they don't want you to be happy. They don't want to see that you have, you know, all this prosperity and all this abundance coming to you. So know that. When my mom used to tell me that I'm not going to go nowhere in life, it was because she didn't want me to go anywhere in life. She told me I was not going to get become a YouTuber like... People aren't going to watch myself. I wasn't going to sell my product. 
She told me that many times before she died. Many times. She told me I'm going to be stuck in poverty again. I'm going to be stuck living off welfare. I was on welfare for freaking a year and a half. That's all I was on. A year and a half, you guys. A year and a half. Just after Cherish was born. Just to get myself back on track. You know, it's not, I'm not saying it's wrong for anybody, but, you know, I was struggling for a minute, and that's why I'm hearing about you guys, somebody was struggling, okay? It's because the hard work that you're doing is what you, what's going to give you this blessing, this abundance, this inheritance. And you're going to pass this down to your children, their children, children, if they want to. You're going to allow them to make that choice. Someone works with their hands a lot. Recycles, like me. Gonna buy a junkyard, metal work. Someone could wire necklaces, okay, or wire jewelry. I've done that a little bit. I gotta get back into that. I've done that a little bit. I'm not not the best at it. It takes a long time and it's hard to cherish. But somebody's really good at wiring stuff. It could be jewelry, it could be other things. Somebody digs up crystals. Okay, that watch this channel. You may be into crystals, digging up crystals, or work with like like work at a crystal shop. Maybe you're thinking about uh, owning Christmas. Christmas. So I'm hearing something about owning a crystal shop. Okay. You're going to get that loan. You're going to get that investment to have that shop. Because I'm hearing something about there's no shop, no crystal shop, no, no spiritual metaphysical shop around you. And you'll be the first one. Make sure you have a business plan. And even if it takes a couple of times, two spirit said. Some, com some rough drafts, but there's resources out there. If you, are, if you were the one that knew that you had an inheritance coming and you've been waiting for it and you thought it was gone, it's not gone. Okay, it's not gone. This inheritance isn't gone. It's just been on delay. It's been delayed. The, the dark forces, the karmics were delaying it. The enemy was just delaying it so you couldn't receive it, but you you will receive it. It might not be today, but you will receive it. There's something that you needed to do. And in spirit, I'm hearing spirit said you had to heal. You had to grow. You had to stand in your power. Know who you are. And you'll receive it. There may be some... To get this inheritance, two spirit just said to me, there may be some, like, legal fees. You know, you may have to get a lawyer. You may have some, like, legal fees that you have to pay. It might have come out of your pocket. But overall, it's going to be a good thing. Okay? It's going to be a good thing. If you have to come, like, have money come out of your pocket, it'll, it'll work out. Same thing as if you're creating something, Spirit said. If you're out there trying to do a business or whatever and you want to invest, you guys spend a little bit of money. Okay? You guys spend a little bit of money to, you know, to have a business. Yeah, you can use the little things like I did. Like, I used a lot of recyclable stuff at first to get it going. And then when it started getting going, you may have to still get some product. You know, I had to buy my oils. I had to buy my candle wax. Okay, that's something I had to buy. I, I couldn't have that around my house. I had jars, but I didn't have the wax. So you're going to have to spend a little bit of money to make money. Okay? Sometimes you can sink a little bit too, like from that, but you, you'll get back up. And remember, if you have started a business, it takes at least a year, at least a year for a business to start moving, going, like moving slowly. Okay, a lot of businesses, a lot of people uh, tank after uh, before the first year. Okay, tank before the first year. And when I was told when I was getting into mine, they said it's usually really, really hard the first year. After the first year, it gets a little bit easier and you start seeing some profit after first year. But it usually takes about one to five years before you actually see a successful business. Okay, so don't give up. Don't give up in that first year. Don't give up in that one to five years. Don't. You may not see a lot of profit until that fifth year or just a little bit. But remember, if you're in that first year, don't give up because it takes time. And you can Google it. You can research it. When I was doing mine, they, the people I was talking to when I was trying to get my stuff back together, because I talked to a few people, they told me if I make it after a year, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but there's more, a uh, higher percentage of success. I'm going on now. Yeti, sorry, Yeti. This will be this third summer. Third summer. And I'm going on Etsy. And it's starting to move, you know, slowly move. YouTube, I've started YouTube in 2021. It's 2024. It was really slow the first year. I didn't start, like with my YouTube, I didn't start um, seeing subscribers until last year, until this last December. Not this December, the December before. So, the, la the yeah, the last year. 
It's all divine timing. All divine timing. You guys, I'm crazy. I'm in Minnesota. I'm walking in sandals and socks on a gravel road, wet gravel road. It was like 30 this morning and then it was, it's like 50 now. What was I saying now about that? I just said that. About the business. Oh, it's, yeah, it's growing. And that's what Spirit told me. Spirit said it's going to grow slowly. And that's going to go really fast at moment. And then, like, you know, slow down a little bit. But it's the people that are meant to be in your life that are supposed to be there will be there. Okay, I hope this helps you guys. I really do. But again, someone is, re someone is going to be receiving an uh, inheritance. Or someone's going to invest in your business. Going to help you, assist you. Or give, I'm, I just heard this could also investment could be a, um, what is it? Uh, uh, spirit, help me. What's the word? Oh my gosh. Not a secret admirer. It could be a secret admirer, secret admirer, but a silence investor. This may be a silence investor you don't even know. Okay. Cause it'd be a donation or some kind of check or some kind of money coming to you. A silence investor. Um, yeah, that's the word. It's not the word I was thinking, but silence investor. So some kind of money could be like you could just see some kind of money in your bank or some kind of check coming to you okay um because it's word of mouth something about word of mouth somebody told somebody about what you're doing and they think that it's going to help others and it's going to go far so i love you love peace light heal namaste